All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I decided I'm going to depart number two. However, this time, all through under her name, because this will be continuation of what I did not even contemplate on. It says right there, MK Ultra Norwegian psychologist Helle Bjorkund and her village involved in MK Ultra since 1995. Uh, this is going to be a part two. However, this time it will be in the name of her brother. This man right here. I have seen um, he have expressed compassion for Ukraine, for the people of Ukraine. Uh, it comes a little bit controversial to me, but uh, of course I welcome his present views at least that's a nice thing I always liked him I just am certain he and his society misunderstood me in, 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 in many ways uh, maybe because he had to maybe that was the thing to do but okay let's do it the village I have spoken about in a previous video so I'm talking about this video right here this video here is also a village which Barack Obama and Eric Holder have visited Barack Obama visited this village to be specific exactly when Bill Clinton and George Bush have changed their seats in the White House. That was exactly the timing of when Obama appeared in this village. So, the village I'm referring to, look at this here, this is Norway, this is Sweden. The map is in Slovenian language, but you understand Oslo, We're talking about this location here exactly. Yeah, we're talking about exactly this location. What we do is we take, I don't see anything from that, I because I know the landscape, so, and it's nothing on the map anyways. It's so hidden really nicely that you can't see anything. So this is the village we're talking about. And really this village, all through I have dedicated the video, the previous video, to to Halle Brickland, his sister. Uh, really this village became known to me because of her brother. So maybe that's a very important clue that I missed in a previous video. I'm going to take a few minutes extra to get this stuff done. Okay, and correct maybe even a few things I have stated in a previous video. I might have even stated that this house was not there in 95. This house was always here. This is from the dear neighbor of Martin, the house. That one right there that you see, this one here was probably modernized. When I say modernized, I have no idea, maybe just painted over or something like this. Uh, improvement took place probably, I estimate, I have no idea. Probably, if I would, I would go for 2008. This house is here that you see, now ah, before I go anywhere, There is a little house right there that you see. And I'm gonna return to that house. Yeah, so just bear just bear with me. We are climbing up the hill and I'm gonna reduce the window like this. That house right there, the red one right there on the hill that you see it. That house, the owner of the house was somebody from 
I'm not sure whether it was Poland or Russia. It could be even Belarus. It was something like this. That's why this guy hosted the KGBs, Russians. This was a volunteer and also a violence promoter, the inciter, uh, a starter in this village, which violence already started sometime in 96, 97. However, only during visitations of people from Poland, from Russia, from Eastern Europe. When it comes to people in the West, no. The first time the violence started from people in the West was in 99, because it was Eric Holder, I think, the first one who came. And then he would come back here together with Obama. And that was right with the two, talking about Bill Clinton and George Bush, have changed seats in the White House. So this one here, Eastern European actually that owns this, but lives in Norway. Out of that here, these are pure Norwegians here, this nice, very, very nice people. Um, the British Royals, when they would come here to this place, they would go uphill. If I was with the British Royals, they would stay up there, this area, to this direction up there. This house is it's another house in the background. All the people here were really, really nice to me, with the exception of the man I demonstrated you with that house. Uh, two American Democrats started to push forward violence against me. Um, so this house always was here. That one got renovated, probably renovated, I should say improved. I estimate in 2008, something like that. And then you have this interesting house here. And uh, I was looking for the reason, last night when I went to sleep, I was looking for the reason why the hell have I even done really this video, because Hella was the one that gave me a bait. She got me here, but I really didn't know what the hell I was doing here in this village at all yesterday. So I decided I'm going to come back, and as I stated, do a video on this man here, a brother of this lady, this girl, you see right there. I'm going to tell you like this. This here, this is his little house. This was the, this was the house for which reason the Illuminati started to come to this village. This was the house that brought Illuminati to this village. And I found one. Now, I really, I did go uphill here and I was looking around and I didn't know really what the fuck I'm doing. Where is, what's going on? Uh, and then it opened to me up the whole thing. This here is a little house from Martin. This. This is what actually mother and father gave Martin before they even gave anything to Hele. He was the boss here already 95. And it's a really old, dry, uh, nice little house that where he would come in a, in a, in a summertime. Uh, I liked it because down this way here that you go, it's nice lakes, ponds, and it was very, very relaxing when I, when they brought me from Eastern Europe from beatings and I would go see these people here, peace, forest, uh, ponds. And man, I thought it was a heaven. As long as I don't have to go to Eastern Europe, they'd be beaten up. Because in Eastern Europe, all over the Eastern Europe was nothing other than violence. So, you know what? 
The first, I observe his house. Now, from the hill, from the top. Then the second thing I saw it, I saw this six little crosses here that you see. Yeah. Uh, this one is, one is, one supposedly is for me, another one is for Hella, and then is another one is here is for Martin, uh, and so on and so forth. No, this is just some kind of plant. This, this shit here, excuse me, it's always been here, but this is how they tease me. This, with this stuff here. It's always was here. Uh, funny stuff. Okay, maybe it's not even funny. Who knows? Uh, is for a house I don't have anything to say about the house the house always was like this exactly the way you see it here and uh, I almost made a mistake with the house because I remember that he was, the first thing he did in this house, he was playing something with the deck. Um, and I was not sure what... It was this stuff here that, that I started to suspect that he might have done first. This thing here, this. This stuff here this um he was not very very talkative about the stuff he was doing around yet the worst thing that happened was he brought with him to norway slovenian psychiatrist peter kopsch police which later would return, they would take photos and shit, and it was all kinds of stuff that went on. What I'm trying to say is complete dementia, basically. These people would take photos and stuff, sitting in front of the computer, and then he didn't even have to do shit. They would insert their own stories inside. Uh, they would do very bad stuff. So for me, that I even have to go and literally give a slightest attempt to this kind of issues is actually humiliation. It's this kind of stuff that took place all over the place for every MK Ultra proof. Slovenian police, Polish police, Russians inserted 10 lies at least. The lights were even supported with all sorts of issues, terror, uh, logical brainwash, electroconvulsive therapy, in a parenthesis therapy, the electrocuted brains in between those sessions. It's humiliating for me to acknowledge that Norwegian royals keep silent about this crime so desperately. Once this stuff is going to come out, I promise you I'm going to make you up for this. I lost 28 years of life, and I know for that reason, for the size of the crime he did to me, why exactly is it important to hurt me as much as possible health-wise, probably even force me into organ transplant or something like that. I get it. I get the degree of crime. I get the fear you live in because of this crime. And I know why you need this shit like this. I get it. This stuff here? I don't know. I'm not sure. I know he did something on a deck. He did some work around house. Something he was doing. What exactly he was doing? I'm not even sure, but he was doing, he maybe, I, I'm not sure what, what exactly he was doing, okay? 
he might have added this here as a as an extra feature this deck here that you see here he might have enlarged this here pull this thing out and if I would go timing wise as I think this was the first improvement he did here this is a stuff that probably would go all the way back to maybe even 2002 or something like this and I probably did really good right now so we're talking about this guy here He's got a really nice neighbor this this is a very nice neighbor here he also had to do some bad stuff he did it once I remember for everybody who did what he did some stuff too they had to do it they they that's how the people protected I suppose one another or something like this I don't know um, this here was the entrance and uh, I'm actually assuming there is a, actually even a chance here that might have been I'm thinking about even more than a deck that he did you see I'm not precisely precisely sure when I say the deck I'm actually thinking about when I see like this from the side that he might actually even have uh, enlarge this here I'm not sure what's going on here with this stuff I'm not completely sure whether it was exactly like this it might have been I'm not sure uh, whether he only added this deck here that you see or did he actually did something some other stuff and pulled the roof further I'm not sure I'm not completely sure about it but this is this was the stuff that when I would come here, uh, I would go inside, and this was very nice and cozy, but small here. But I was happy to be in peace. But the thing is that there is door, and you go basically all the way. You know, you you you. This is this is basically where the entrance always was, and then you go like this from the side when you look at this house. Okay, it was always there, this thing. I just don't know if it was so white, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so you would, you would get in, uh, what, is, what is the entrance? Entrance is here, and this area here always was, was always nice. Yeah, this area here was always very nice and cozy here. Uh, but then you would just go to this direction through the door so this part of the house always was there you know you would just go I think he might have actually widened one and added deck to one what exactly happened I don't know I go to year 2002 and that's a very I think powerful witnessing right there then in year 2010 is something else that took place and I think in 2010, it was the last thing that he did, his last improvement. And the last improvement was, I think, this garage here, this in the back here. I think this is what he did in 2010. I think that that was the final, the final thing he did here, this garage, okay? So I'm talking to you about my being drugged up, shouldn't be anywhere here in Europe between 1995 and August of 2006, that's for 11 and a half consecutive years, I've never exited the United States of America 
to any location, to any continent, with exception to South America, to Ecuador, where I did go to visit parents from my ex-wife. That was to Quito, to Ecuador. On three occasions I did go. But never went to native Slovenia or anything like this. Now this is in Norway, and I pretty much know everything about what went on through the continent. Uh, Companies-wise, many locations where elites, prime minister, presidents, royals would wander on their ex excursions. So I think that the last thing that happened in 2010 was this garage right there. He did something with this garage. I don't know what he did with the garage. He added the garage. Uh, I don't think that he added the garage, but he did something with the garage. I don't know. A repeated one or whatever he did, I have no idea. The garage always was there, but uh, I think it was always there, garage. But in 2010, I don't know what he did with the garage. I think this was the last thing he did. This thing here. This. So. Whatever he was doing in 2010 with this, with this garage. So this is his house from Martin. Um, and I don't actually have anything else I would add to all this. This is, this is going to be considered as a part number two from this video here that you see. Maybe interesting to me was that Helen, her brother, traveled worlds. And as I wouldn't want to know anything about Eastern Europe, I don't know whether they tease me or not, I don't know what what this was about, but they would tell me um, now we were in Poland, we were in Czech Republic, we were in Belarus, we were in Russia, and for every country they would tell me now it's safe, now it's safe. I did not understood what they were saying to me because I never wanted to have any, absolutely anything to do with Basically, I didn't emigrate to United States of America to be hijacked to Russia, to Belarus, not even to Poland or to Czech Republic or any place like this. This was never my intention to allow anybody to play with me, do the stuff like this. Uh, but London, London have afforded itself ultimate humiliation. And uh, so, this is how things turned against my will, against me. This is how I lost 28 years of life. And I really find this disgraceful. But okay, uh, I thought this would be important for me to note. Uh, this is the guy really because of whom I, I knew this village. I liked him and I think he liked me, but with the amount of politicians, with, with the stuff that went on, uh, things were becoming just... Uh, the only optimist I think that remained on the picture, I was really myself, I think. The rest, uh, the people lost their enthusiasm, fear exploded. Maybe interesting to note is, uh, nah, we're just going to end here, that's it. I already did enough trouble here. Um, it's like anything else I want to add. Um, as a matter of fact, let me see something one more time here. So the houses that you have seen, those are the houses always were there. 
Uh, what I need to see is there's actually something else here. Maybe the driveway or whatever the hell. Oh, let me see that. I don't know what the hell he was doing here. The last thing, this is what I should remember in 2010. Probably renovated this garage or whatever, maybe. I have no idea. Uh, houses, was, uh, I said houses and shit. Uh, let me see this here. I am not going to be doing stuff like this because uh, I would have to go there and walk a little bit back and forth and so on. I'm not going to be doing that. That's that's good enough. This is probably new. I would say this is new. These are new structures here. This is what I already have spoken to you about in a previous video. That's the stuff I already have spoken to you about. Uh, when Hello also moved there and so on and so forth. That's the stuff we already have gone through. Okay, so that's that's all I need to do for this video. Interesting maybe to note is that uh, Hillary Clinton appeared just as she promised she would. If I would publish this video and touch Obama issue. For Obama issue, the whole village sworn in would come out and confirm the thing. It was Norwegian King Harald, however, who become a frequent visitor to this village. A very important person I did not mention. He found himself inside of this village in way too many occasions. He became a frequent visitor. It wasn't any longer about foreign politicians, but he became, found myself in car with him way too many times. And he became interested in this village and he was not happy with me, seeing me in this village. Okay, so Miss Hillary claimed that she would do this so that the truth would not come out about blah, blah, blah. But Miss Hillary Clinton is, in my opinion, she's a good person. She's not a bad person, Miss Hillary Clinton. Uh, Hillary Clinton... Yeah. She stated me there is a one mistake you have really, really made, and it was a really, really bad mistake. And that was to not marry her daughter, Chelsea. Uh, if I was about to do that, God knows if that would really ever happen. But you can also see the picture here below. And that picture is worth... Well, some people have condemned one. Uh, fact of the matter is that everybody thought about this case the same way George Bush did. He really was just, he and his brother was just another one in line. All these politicians. The one who screwed up the whole thing, the one who shit the shit all over the chessboard, were really people from London. Those are British royals. Those are the people that ruined 28 years of my life. No, there was no way, there was no way, because as long as I was loyal to them, 
I was dodging bullet in my head. And everybody knew it. This picture here actually have a very deep meaning. Some have criticized one for it. Uh, but it makes sense to me. There you go. That's the date and time. Uh, I'm going to give a message to Martin. Once you deliver the people like this, once you have people like I mentioned, and you notice, you guys even notice they were taking photos, pictures, they, they were making videos and all kinds of shit of houses. That, that's not fucking normal stuff. Uh, <laughs> you possibly imagine what the fuck went on here inside of this house when they returned me to Slovenia in front of the computer once they assisted them even with the Google Maps that was even fucking worse well the Google Maps was just a necessary evil I couldn't do this without the Google Maps but this is how it went <laughs> 